welcome back to the channel. We've got another 2024 M4 Competition X-Drive Convertible, again in Brooklyn Gray, with a slightly different interior than the previous Brooklyn Gray Convertible. This is, this is of course, the G83 platform. It's another store inventory car, because basically not a lot of people order convertibles, although we keep getting a lot of them. But Brooklyn Gray, obviously one of the more popular colors, especially for M3, M4 orders. So, let's start at the front here. We've got our laser lights and shadow line lights. You see evidence of the parking assistance package. Camera there in the middle of the grill. M4 competition badging on the grill as well. And moving over to the side, we've got the style 825M wheels in orbit gray. Basically by color as well. I think these these are my favorite wheels. Not necessarily the color, but I think they complement the Brooklyn Gray paint really well. We've also got the red M compound brake calipers, as well as the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tire lottery win, if you will. Take a step back, we take in the convertible with the top up. Of course, see there is another option for the top. This is the standard black top. You can also get a moonlight black soft top. And we'll take a pit stop here at the rear caliper. No M clip, so that appears to be gone for model year 24. A weight savings trick, cost savings, you can probably hedge your bets and say cost savings. So, X drive badging, M4 competition badging as well in gloss black. Our very aggressive faux diffuser. There's that three-quarter view. We also have the floating center caps here. So perfect for your OCD, especially if you like taking photos of your car. You always have the emblem on the right side. So I think that's well worth the very minuscule investment cost. I think it's 165 bucks for those if you order it as part of the car. All right, so let's go inside, go over pricing and options, and then eventually we'll drop the top as well. All right, so opening up, we have the Fiona Red extended merino leather. You know, Fiona Red does have the door card still in red, or color of the interior you choose. So, standard M4 seats. However, this one has the optional neck warmers. So that's sort of know what you call that look. But basically a masked alien perhaps, or a robot. That's what it looks like to me. That M4 badging that lights up as well. So black leather in the middle. There's no Alcantara on these ones. But very nice looking seats. Also very comfortable, well bolstered as well. But if I had my choice for my car, I'm getting the carbon bucket seats. Your opinion may vary on that one. So do have adjustments here for the side bolster lumbar support, got M4 badging down here on the door sill. You used to see, they used to say competition. That was, again, a weight savings move, perhaps. All right, so the inside, your standard M steering wheel with M stitching. Here's the steering wheel button, which still exists. Maybe that disappears from model year 25. We'll have to wait and see. M1, M2 buttons in red. You'll notice this does not have the carbon fiber interior trim, which means don't have the carbon fiber shift paddles or inlet here. In front of me, I drive 8, the M version. This is an M mode sport. Heads up display. And the rest of your curved display for the M version of I drive 8. Again, 8.5. M version is not on the M3, M4, or M2. I imagine that will make its appearance on the M3, M4 probably for model year 25. And the aluminum rhombosil anthracite trim. And you've got your gear selector with the embossed M emblem, as well as stitching. So really nice details. All right, so starting price, the 2024 M4 Comp X-Drive Convertible, 93300 bucks. so it's a lot. Uh, Brooklyn Gray Metallic adds another 650 The extended merino leather is included. Parking assistance package for 700 the exact package for another $1,300. Shadow line lights for 300 
the neck warmer for six fifty, a thousand for the laser lights. All the other stuff is included. At one sixty five for the floating center caps or hub caps. All told, MSRP of just a little bit over ninety nine thousand dollars. Of course, you can go nuts and get this thing well above six figures. Let's go ahead and drop the top here. So here's your little button to do that. It's got the neck warmer buttons next to it to turn on the heat for your neck needs. And watch that process go down. So it's a pretty quick process. And that's the movement complete. All right, so again, I'll shy away from getting into the back seat, but it is a reduced uh, seating arrangement for the convertible, just because this portion here sort of goes in and pushes the occupants, if they are unfortunate enough to be in the back seat, towards the center. Knee room legroom, I think, is pretty decent. Of course, with the top down, shouldn't be an issue with headroom. Just a little bit squished in the back. Is that Fiona red? And of course, you do have the very probably inadequate cup holders for the rear passengers. All right, take a step back. And then we will move to the trunk, which is you know, a decent sized trunk. Again, no kick to open. So here's the cargo area, of course, reduced from the coupe. But hopefully you know what you're getting into when you're getting a convertible. All right, so we'll make our way to the front. Take a look under the hood. We take it our Brooklyn Gray with a top down. All right, so underneath the hood, no surprise, the S58 inline six three liter twin turbo engine. 503 horsepower, 479 torques in this guise here. So, very strong engine. And more than enough power and torque for basically almost everything you can think of. But that's it for a quick tour around yet another M4 Comp X-Drive convertible. And we'll see you at the next video.